Hello and welcome to the 23rd episode of Stay Nerdy, my friends. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about the Monty Hall problem, also known as Bertram's Box Paradox. Yes, I know that rhymes. No, I did not do it that way. Uh, sorry, I have to organize the visuals for this. Um, but first, a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, I know I didn't make an episode last week. Sorry about that, but we were having some family issues. My grandpa was in the hospital, so... Uh, I had to make an episode this week, even though uh, we're still having some family issues. But don't worry about it. There, there will be an episode. There will be an episode every week. Um, the other thing is, I'm going back to making two episodes every week. So there will be a new episode of Stay Nerdy, my friends, every Tuesday and Thursday. It might be a little bit early in the day. It might be a little bit late in the day. But there will be new episodes every Thursday. If you want to stay up to date on all your Stay Nerdy, my friends episodes, subscribe to this channel. It's on here somewhere. I don't remember where on the page it is. But it's really easy. All you have to do is click and it helps me a lot and you get to get new episodes of Stay Nerdy, my friends. It's a win-win. Uh, the other thing is I'm working on getting animations for the show. Uh, it's a little hard to do but I'm working on it because it's a little bit easier for you guys to understand and I'm all about helping you guys. See? Good guy. Anyway, um, the other thing is, we might have some guest hosts on the show. It won't be like they come on for a day and just replace me. It'll be me talking, and then they do a segment, and then me ending the show. Uh, so basically just like normal, except someone else will cover one of the segments. So anyway, in today's episode, we're going to talk about the Molly Hall problem, also known as the Bertram's Box Paradox. So, to explain this, we are on a game show. I'm the host, you're the contestant. The point of the show is you have three doors. Behind one of the doors is a car. Behind two of the doors are goats. You want to win the car, not the goats. Sorry, if you want to win a goat, go on a different game show. Anyway, so here are our three doors. Door number one, door number two, door number three. Anyway, so, sorry, my doors are made of paper. We have a low budget. Um... Anyway, so you have to choose one of the doors. So let's say, for argument's sake, because you can, I can't actually hear you, that you chose door number two. So we mark it with a nice little green X here. <laughs> yeah, we just did that. Anyway, um, so now, because I'm the host, I see that you picked door number two. So I'm going to show you what's behind door number one. Look at that. You did not. That's one of the goats thrown away. Now there are only two doors. Door number two, which you picked, and door number three, which you did not pick. So now, because I'm tricky, I'm going to give you the option to switch your choice from door number two to door number three. Now, here's where Bertram's box paradox and the Monty Hall problem come in. Does switching your answer from door number two to door number three actually help your odds? And the answer is yes. Here's why. Switching your answer from door number two to door number three means that you have a 50% chance of winning. Here's why. Because when you first started, you were choosing from three doors. So the chance that you pick the correct door is 33.333 repeating percent that you got it correct. So now that there are only two options, switching from door number two to door number three means that you get a 50% chance of winning here because you're choosing again. And that's really good. So. If you were to choose door number three, look at that, you win a car, yay! And door number two, which you originally picked, is a goat. Now, let, let me pull these back up so that I can explain something. A lot of people, uh, when I tell them this, get really mad, and they say, well, yeah, sure, we get, uh, switching to door number three, we have a 50% chance, but sticking with door number two, we still have a 50% chance. No, you don't, because door number th two still has a 33% chance, because the only way that uh, sticking with door number two will succeed is if you chose it originally, which, if, since you're working from that, you have to include door number one in the chances of door number two being the correct answer. So, because of that, door number two still has a 33.3 repeating chance of being the correct answer, but door number three has a 50% chance of being the correct answer. It's just statistics, that's all. It's really easy when you think about it. Um, anyway, if you're confused about this at all, please ask me a question in the comments, send me an email, do whatever. I am all about getting you guys to understand this stuff. I love that you guys ask questions. 
Um, anyway, subscribe to the channel. It's a good channel. I mean, this is a really complicated process, uh, thought experiment in mathematics, and it, we just explained it really simply and in depth. That's what I don't like, because this has been featured on several different uh, math shows, like Numbers did it, uh, I think another, some other stuff did it, but they didn't go into depth about why switching your answer gave you a better chance. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so subscribe to the channel, share this video with everyone you know. I would love to get more subscribers. Like I said, if I get over two over a hundred subscribers by my birthday, which is June 25th, I will make another week of episodes, which is five episodes, um, five episodes in one week. That was intense last time. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this episode of Stay Nerdy, my friends. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, email me, send them to, leave them in the comments below. Any ideas for new episodes, email me. The show's email is staynerdymyfriends at gmail.com or leave your ideas in the, in the comments below. I love that you guys do that. I love answering your guys' questions. So, like this video, favorite it, share it, share it, share it, share it with everyone you know. The, Really complicated, but it's super simple here. Um, other than that, all I can think of is stay nerdy, my friends.